The much-anticipated Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union meeting was called off on Monday after only an hour and 10 minutes by Chairman Karen Van Sleitman Corbin. This was after failing to have a quorum on two occasions, both in person and online. The credit union has over 20,000 members and over 5,000 members were required for there to be a quorum. The chairman said she was acting in keeping with the court's ruling, which mandated the union to hold special members meeting on or before the 24th of October. Trevor Ben and his team called on members not to attend the meeting since all systems were not in place in keeping with the court's ruling. Corbin said she was surprised. But I'm surprised to hear that even happen because it was those people who petitioned for a meeting, they went to the court, the court ordered a meeting, we have put all the systems in place to facilitate the meeting, so I'm now being surprised to hear that they're asking members not to attend the meeting that they demanded. So it's, it's surprising to me. that should have been followed were not followed, like adequate advertisement, nomination um, process before the actual meeting, and, and what? And the voters list. And the agenda for the meeting. All the procedures have been followed as directed by the court. All the procedures. All the procedures we have followed. We have complied with the order. They even, yes, online. Yes, they have all, all the arrangements were put in place because that was an order too to have it done virtually so that those members who cannot be here in person could be registered and attend online. Because of a lack of quorum, in keeping with Regulation 17.2, the meeting had to be dissolved. So that's what I did just now. I dissolved the meeting. It was the union that moved to the court requesting a variant in the judge's ruling and the judge acknowledged that the court has jurisdiction to hear that matter. The matter will come up on November 7th. One area the court had ordered us to um, deal with and we were not able to get that particular provider to carry the meeting. They, they couldn't do it. They indicated they couldn't do it and that is why, why we asked for a visit. Corbin said members' interests are of paramount importance, but it was three members who moved to the court after the management committee refused to accept their petition for a special members meeting following a fallout between Trevor Ben and the management. I agree with them. Members' interest is of paramount, paramount importance and to any individual, any other thing. And that is why we will be engaging our members here to bring them up to date on all that has been happening within their credit union. Their interest is of paramount importance, not any one individual. You would recall that Ben was removed as chairman following a no-confidence motion. The meeting which was ordered by the court would have led to the election of a new management committee to oversee the management of the credit union.